Uh, hey, new episode. The last episode. The survivors. What's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine, for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We were about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar is dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Calm down, Billy. Oscar. Oscar doesn't want this. He died helping us all survive. He wouldn't want her dead. Had he known, though. Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please. If I knew sooner, oh, shut it. Uh, Nima, help. Um. What kind of soldier are you? You think about only the danger that you deal with, but we are all in this together. We can be in this without her endangering our every move. Well, what is all this? She's a liar. How can you deny that? How did she lie? Because she wouldn't tell us information without knowing the facts? She could have speculated. No. Speculating could have led us into even more danger. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it. Injun is the enemy here. They spoiled the island. They made these monsters. You can't make her pay for all that Injun has done. Maybe. Put down the knife. We need to work together, all of us. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc. Let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's my... my fault. There. It was so difficult, was it? The friends would have saved him here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got it. Just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Alright. Jess, stay close to me, okay? I'll keep you safe. Dad? That's a good idea, hon. anything. Maybe it's clear. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. Alright. Well. Uh, this place doesn't help me much. Hey, there's... I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. Alright, well... I'm speak to him. Are you okay? Jess, Han, leave him alone. Yeah. It's good to leave him alone. I don't understand. 
I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ova um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating, but these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. God damn. That's bad. Very bad. But hey, there's a vent. This is great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Well then, I know what to use it for. First, let's check out Harry. Oh shit. I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! Yeah, I don't like that went. I don't like that went a little any bit. Locked. Oh, there are some flares. A flare kit. This might come in handy. Cool. Now I know what to use the lock for. Huele excremento. What? Okay, maybe I don't know how to, don't know what to use the lock for. Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, are you ready? Yes, yeah, so let's go. This is not the time for grieving. We have to move. Maybe we should. She's right. Is that a grenade? Billy, did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um... According to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I knew that went is no good. They're coming through the vent. Uh, push the thing. <sighs> Oh fuck, it's those things! Come on, fuck off you little thing! Yeah, yeah, headshot! Oh no. 
Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Going past the door. Oh shit. Fuck. Go up, go up, go up. Oh my god. Terry, get that crate open. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll find out something! The air tank! What? Use the air tank! It's heavy and sturdy! Good idea. Take it. <clears throat> Come on! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man! Come on, come on, Gary! Hutya! There we go! I got it! Let's go! Oh shit! Son of a bitch! Get my, get my, get my back my shovel! Yeah, you don't like, huh? You don't like the steam, yeah? Come on! How can you still like the steam? Oh, now that's hot water! And you don't like hot water! Whoa! God, they are nasty little fucks. Holy like shit. God, they're still after us? Okay, there's no time! Uh, uh, it's a desalination plant. Go through the marine exhibit is. Follow the red conduit. Alright, well then let's follow it. On people, there's Now where? Following the red whatever. Alright, the red, red, red! Where is it? Red is there! Alright, go there! Wait, the conduit's gone. No, stop! What? It's gone? Oh shit. Those are water mains! Oh, follow Oh my god, that is. Which way, Laura? I don't know, Jerry. We must be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. We can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes, yes, okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Oh my god. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. Alright, well let's check out the plans. 
No, this is so confusing. I can't read maps for shit. Alright. No, no, no. I just don't have enough details to make a decision. Yeah, it's best not to get lost, so... Okay, these symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does that help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. Alright, well... Okay, so let's check it out. Let's first Henry. Henry. Oh. Okay, so we got uh, we have a big pipe. Big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling part way down the corridor. Okay, there's a. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of. Whoops! I just press pause for no big reason. But hey, check out this thing. Looks amazing. I love it. There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. All right, there's a ladder on the right and at the far end. Okay. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. Okay. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. Okay. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. Okay. Does that tell me anything? Which way do we have to survey the Look down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. Alright, well, look. Alright, so... Uh, Alright, so there's a ladder on the right and at the far end and there are two water tanks, so that's where Gary or G G Gary's Jerry's Then there's the um, I don't know what that was, but there was a ladder on the left and two ladders on the left, okay Then I I can't read maps. I think it's this one. Fuck it. What do you think, Jess? This one? Sure. What do you think, Jess? This one? Sure. Oh, okay. So this one. Then This one. I'll circle this one as a candidate. Okay, Laura. I hope you're right. And I think it's also this one. No, it's this one. I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. Uh, is that good? Look down the corridors. No. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. Um, we could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. You have to take... I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? I'm just going to cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. <laughs> I'm really bad. Alright, let's check it out. Okay. 
And so there's a pipe going from the right and goes somewhere. Then there's a... Um, it looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. In a T intersection. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. And water tanks, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so it goes within the T... Ah, oh, okay, so I, I got it. Wait. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Do I have to have, like, only one? Okay. Now, Nima. So there's a water tank that goes like that. Then there are two ladders on the left, and there's a... There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. Okay. Alright. Well, all of them has that. Oh, okay, except for this one. So this is not one. Alright, so I got it off. Okay, so let's... I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. Okay, so... There's a thing, there's a ladder on the... Ah, so it's not this one. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, and... Now we only need one final thing, so... It's between these two. Um, Billy? Big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. Okay. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. All right. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. Okay. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. All right, dead end. All right. So, uh, okay. So, ah, it's this one. All right, because the the water tanks are a bit closer to the. On the right, and they are a little bit closer, so... It's not this one! I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? Oh my god, yes! I'm positive. They did it! We it's actually complete. Here. It's actually it's good. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains and junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. Oh, crap. What is it? God! Bad too. You're the final one. You're very bad. Go away. Go, 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 come on. God, they're fast. Oh my god, Jesse. Come on. No. Jebby, come on. Oh 
Crap, 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 climb it, climb it, climb it. This is not over. Oh god, that fight it was over. Okay. Separate it, huh? Holy fuck. Oh god, Jess! Oh, what have I done? I just left her down there. I have to go find her. What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? Um... Near the ocean? Sorkin mentioned the desalination plant. That would be near the ocean, right? Jerry, the whole island is near the ocean. Oh. Oh, right, but we pump seawater in from the lagoon. They must have built the marine exhibit near the waterworks. Lagoon? I think I know where that is. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Alright. You know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. You're on the island. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression, so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit, so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. I'm sure it was a very difficult time for your father. I know he wanted what was best for our people. He was too trusting. They took advantage of him. He sounds like a brave man. Were you too close? When we were on the island, yes. We were always together. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. What is Sibo? That mountain there. It is like a house, my father said. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before Inja. And my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima! Little fish! Little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. Oh, that's just when cute. When came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. You're a lot like... He would always be my okay. stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my Mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. 
Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher, and at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes, it's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I will take her after this job. That's a good strong name, and a good city. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be, and refuse the fisher's bay. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very proud of you. Thank you, Jerry. I... I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew. Nima, look, I... What is it? Sorry about the island, or help me, I'll help you. Nima, I want to trust you. Help me get Jess off this island, and I will do whatever I can to help you and your daughter. I could not hold you to that, Jerry. If we don't get off this island, you might not have to. Please. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Uh-oh. Did you guess Dilophosaurus? What? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern-day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. Ha, <laughs> nice! That's what we needed. <laughs>